So we should probably go ahead and and do the initiative thing. Sure, yeah, we should we fighting. count as cool or vigilance? Can I use my vigilance <laughs> roll? Yeah, you can. I mean, it really depends on your character, doesn't it? Well, if there's no difference between the two, then you can probably say either or, but um, basically, if it's a surprise attack, you have to roll vigilance. Right, but at this point, it's not a surprise attack anymore. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, at this point, it's you guys keeping your cool. There I go. But, there I go. but we'll let Bosmo keep his. Uh, no, my cool is better than my vigilance anyway. Um, what what do we do for initiative? Yeah, do we roll against cool, difficulty? It's simple. No. So we just roll it Base, straight up? Yeah, and there's a tab... Uh, combat tab, and there's a little button that says Show Initiative, and uh, if you just click the little dice icon. Right. Mm. Oh! Mm. oh. <laughs> cool. Hopefully I think I did save. really good, guys. You did. Good job. Good job. You did amazing. I think it did now, right. now I got to figure out where it's tracking all this stuff. There's a button on the toolbar to the left. The first combat jitters. Oh, without a doubt. So the hell is this thing? It's okay. We'll just all get killed, and that's the end of the game. <laughs> It would be like when we did that milk run with Shadow Run. And I thought it would be a clever idea to step out from cover and shoot my mage's gun at the huge guy. And then I died. That's awesome. You didn't die. Nice shelf. What was nobody, that? Nobody died in that game. What the hell was that noise? That was Mike. Uh, Mike's Mike. I was just, I was just a robot kicking you in. It went bong! <laughs> Why, why so is that fun. super not PC. useful? <laughs> it is, because MVP. in this game, uh, you don't oh, have... Oh, that's right. People terms. pick. Yeah, we pick. Yeah, all right. I don't know what the three, two, and shit is. Uh, I mean... That... Successes to triumphs or something? Yeah. Or Advantage, whatever. Yeah. Advantages, yeah. It, it gives no, us... No, it can't it be. Gives us... <laughs> didn't ra railroad the... Mo oh, no, I guess you didn't. No, I got three successes yeah, and roll three roll. advantages. Yeah. Well, there you go. So I guess it determines if you have more advantages than somebody with the same number of successes, you go ahead of them. Right. Yeah, well, that makes uh, makes a bit of sense. But you still choose who goes when without. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can negotiate that. I, I want to go back to that sound that just happened. It was like Hot <laughs> Star <laughs> was it starting was, to talk to us. It was like a. Boo! Oh, uh, this is your on Star operator. <laughs> and it went very distortiony. It was amazing. I think it was just Mike's headphone reconnecting. Ah, uh, gotcha. I got no idea. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We're just, just loud and we're just get, having a little giggle. We're just giving <laughs> you a little giggle. I'm gonna take a bite out of crime. All right, I'm just trying to get this in a position for the viewers at home. Make some semblance of an order. All right, so we'll be entering the combat phase then. Now, um, because I don't want the entire galaxy chasing after me, I'm not going to be very useful in this combat, just so you're all aware. That's fine. I don't know. So you're just going to Jar Jar this one? What do you What do you mean, Bosmo? Nothing. Bosmo is not a nothing. There's nothing special. Nothing. Fair enough. Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll start off, and uh, the first section is going to be for the player characters. So please, who who wants to go first? Well, I warned everyone, so anyone can go. You warned everyone because you don't want to go first. Yes. <laughs> He's not going to be very useful if I'm he can't snap it you. out. Well, who should go first? Because like, because uh, Wyatt and myself are both like we both have like Simo in our hands. So 
Just drop him. <laughs> Damn. I feel, I feel like some responsibility is about to get put on my head here. Oh my god, yeah. explosions. Oh yeah. god. Uh, but we probably should, at, at some point, open up the the turtle and put Simo inside. And someone needs to go deal with the connection. Okay. Um, well, so, Lan, do you want to start off, then? Are you any good at fighting? No, I'm terrible at fighting. Good, <laughs> good. Macro, how about you? Uh, <laughs> no, that was absolutely a lie, I'm actually. I'm great, great at disconnecting consoles from ships. Okay, so that's <laughs> that can be your job. Like, ah, McGruff, can you go disconnect the ship? Yeah, Bosmo says. My, to my, only his problem, my only problem at this point is that I don't actually have a good gun. Uh, <laughs> I don't think okay. anyone has a good gun here. Except maybe Wyatt. Wyatt. has I an should... amazing gun. Yeah. No, I'll, right, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get right on it. I'll get, I'll get <laughs> right on it. Reach out at Wyatt's holster. Use the force. Grab his gun. <laughs> start shooting dudes. Wyatt, hey! Well, look Bad at that. The wind just blew it right into my hand. Bad enough you use my ship. He so stole how... my ship and my gun. <laughs> so, uh, how are... He stole my man. How are our range <laughs> bands oh, working here? He's all yours. How are what, sorry? Range how are our range bands working here? Like, what's short, um, what's medium? Yeah, so... Since I didn't want to go to to the point where we'd have to, like, old move our guys to get them into the same square... As long as you're adjacent to someone, we'll consider that uh, close range. Engage. And then if you're one, yeah, engage slash close, whatever you want to call it. Engage. Um, and then if you're one away, then you're at short. And we'll probably just move from there. Okay. If that sounds okay to you guys, anyway, we we can. This is definitely open to discussion. That still seems like too small a range to like suddenly be at extreme. Which I mean, it probably is. Uh, seems okay. I'd say maybe two two squares per category. Outside maybe, of like so we'll say that if you're right next to somebody, you're engaged, then two squares after that, you're still in uh shit, what's the first one? Short range? Yeah. Okay, so would that mean that I'm at short range to the purple guy, or am I in medium range to the purple guy? Are we doing Manhattan I think taxi cabs? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I would think... say you're medium. Yeah, I would agree with that. All right, so I need to. And everyone move up wants me to stop being nice. Here to be at short. Mm, oh, that's a good point, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. S something like that. I'm just Between checking because no one seems to want to move, so I'll just uh, need to remember how movement works. So it's a maneuver to move, and then I would attack after that. Yeah, if that's what you want to do, swing your maneuver for. I believe okay. each round you've got a option to do a maneuver and an action. Yes, and, and you can, can take a extra action by taking some strain. Right. Okay. I'm sorry, extra maneuver, I should say. Yep. All right. So after yelling that stuff, Bosmo flaps up here and uh, shoots his crappy little holdout blaster at the purple guy. It's really crappy, so don't expect anything. And what's the difficulty on that? Is it one or two? Uh, you're at short range. I think that's just one. Okay. Hmm. And Steve, feel free to correct me on any of this. I think you're correct. Yeah. And then I'll just slap you down like the player you are. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
Is it? So, it's perfectly canceled no, really. out. <laughs> so, no, really? So he realizes he's, he's he barely left the safety on. He's, he achieved absolute equilibrium. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, wait a second. Did Bosmo just bring balance to the force? <laughs> Shit, game over, guys. Go home. <laughs> All right, so um, now, no do you want to describe necessary. what happens with Bosmo's attack, or would you like me to do it? So Bosmo flutters up, and he, he whips out his tiny, terrible holdout blaster. And he levels it at the guy. He's like, we've got to get out of here. And he, he shoots it three times, but... Um, the first two times, the, the blaster bolts are intercepted by debris, and the third time, uh, the blaster bolt just slams into the wall next to the guy because Bosmo's not a good shot. It's, just, it's, it's a lot of sound and fury signifying nothing, but maybe it will distract them. Alarming all the same. And it definitely gives the purple guy a bit of pause there. Now, Bosmo is a clear target. Yeah. We'll miss you, Bosmo. Thanks, Bosmo. <laughs> He's just flapping there in midair. Yeah, well, uh, we'll never forget you. It's all good. It's all good. That's the, the fun of it. Goodbye, Galen. All right. <laughs> is this button going to do it? I hope this doesn't just fuck it all up. Hey, all right. Hey. I'll put a link right. to what Bosmo's crappy gun looks like in the Twitch chat. I hope it's size relative and it's actually massive on him. <laughs> okay. So who's going to murder us now? Indeed. Someone is going to murder. And it's going to be Nail. Who... Is we don't the know starter is. is going to? He's what? We we can't see their names. We don't know who they are. Yeah, no, that's right. Because only I can control them, which is a really dumb way of. We did see the names when they when he rolled. That's true. Forsake yeah. Alpha. Well, who do you who do you think is who? Nail and a Krayerk. Ooh, I'm gonna say that the Snake Eyes looking motherfucker over here is Forsake Alpha. And this guy is Cobra Commander. Nail Unicrack. <laughs> Unicron? Very correct. Nail Unicrack. Kriak. Like it was a random name that the thing gave me. Uh, I thought, I thought uh, which is to say he's very essential to the plot. And super important. Let's get a figure Just out. as important as Timo? Oh, uh, without a doubt. Who? Simo Broca. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how to get these damn names to show. Not that it really matters, I suppose. But it would be nice. Can you see him now? Uh, no. What you do is you open up their token thing by double-clicking them. Oh. Then you click show nameplate. And then on the other tab, you click show name. I see Unicrack's name. Did that work? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I see Forsake him. Alpha. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I see him both. All right, good enough. These are such Star Wars names. <laughs> good job, hey, Snug. Damn, I also Thanks. nailed it by... Dis you did, <laughs> by man. Yes, you're, the, you're um, like a headhunter. McGruff smelled them out. Oh. Anyway, so for the first NPC turn, uh, Nail's going to take it. Now, he's currently standing on top of the ship, and he's not really going to change that. He is, he's going to clank his way along the top, running up to, to take a little bit of cover behind. He's got the high ground. He does. He's going to just cut someone's legs right out from under them. And from up there, he is, uh, of course, going to take the open shot that Bosmo is providing. Bosmo gives him a sassy finger point, like, no, don't do it, Nail, you going to crack? <laughs> what, like Hulk? Yeah. The Hulkster? Yeah, like, like the Hulkster. Morning. 
Nice. He's, he's going to point warningly and then do some racist stuff in a sex tape. It's going to be great. Yeah. Yep. McGruff's, uh, McGruff's weird hair that he refuses to shave off just kind of shakes from side to side as he furiously finger wags. Uh, so let's see. So that is going to be a short range attack. He levels his disruptor pistol. Oh, man. At the back of Osmo. Yeah, these guys are. We miss you. We'll miss you. <laughs> these guys are a little harsh. <laughs> he levels so, it. So leans casually sheet, against. Oh. It's okay. Leans. I always have 10 backup characters. He's as got you his know. backup character, Cosmo, who is like exactly the same. Cosmo oh, shows up the next day. <laughs> oh, no, wait. They used a Sparty cloning cylinder to clone him. So it's <laughs> Bosmo. Two O's. Oh, of course. Bosmo. Gary. So he <laughs> leans against the aft thruster there, lines up his shot behind you. He warns and then shoots his damn gun right at Bosmo's back. No. I need that. Right between the legs. That's right. So that's going to be short. So one purple for me. We'll miss you. Oh. Oh. Mm. oh. Hey, on the mm. bright side, he can't crit. That is that is correct. I would need at least two advantages in order to to blow one of his wings right off, <laughs> or, or whatever we ran him into. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just cripple him right immediately. How, how depressing would that be? <laughs> the rest of the time? Like he's gonna triumph, and the wing flies off and hits McGruff's eye. <laughs> oh, and then McGruff, McGruff gets, gets a really sexy eye it. patch. <laughs> I'm already a demon, Wyatt. <laughs> All right. So that that does hit. Um, I've got an advantage. Which I can do things with. Yeah, you can. You can recover one strain. You can add a boost to the next allied active character's check. Some really mean things to do. I'm just gonna. I'm just not gonna use it. I think there's no strain for me to recover, and for sake's probably not gonna need the boost. All right. So since that is. Oof, that's that's gonna be some damage on Bosmo. Wow, what's your soak, Bosmo? Uh, should be on my sheet. Let me see. Probably so not gonna each be four, uncanceled, though. So each uncanceled it's hit three. adds plus one damage. That includes the one that you hit with. I wouldn't think so. Nah, that's what it says. It says each un. It says each uncanceled. That's brutal. I don't want to be that mean. So that, that, um, yeah, the base damage, then why have base damage? It'd be like I'm only gonna like do it with the the additional one. So one yeah. to actually hit, and then one extra damage. So eleven. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and since it's got a pierce four on it, that just kind of cuts right through Bosmo's armor. Goodbye, Bosmo. All right, Bosmo dies. <laughs> Jesus. Does Bosmo have less than 11 hits? Did yeah, you Bosmo's just say... a dumpy fly person. He has an 11 wound threshold. Uh, Holy did... shit! <laughs> <laughs> um, did you just say Bosmodius? Um, yeah, you know, avenge me. Actually, no, don't don't avenge me. I'm a, I'm a Jedi. Uh, um, Forgive hang them. On. Oh, no, hang, no, on. No, no, hang on, hang on. When a PC suffers wounds greater than his wound threshold, he is knocked out and incapacitated. How about yeah, equal so to his wound threshold? Nope. It's got to go past. Hmm. But that's so exactly you're equal hanging to. In there, buddy. Yeah, you're, you're hanging in, and there may be someone here who could heal you as well. Well, we should Ooh, focus on running you, away. And if you get knocked out, you immediately suffer one critical injury. In some rare and dire circumstances, this could result in the PC's death. 
wasn't expecting oh. that to do so much Critical damage. injury time. Let's see what we got. You don't get No, you're not you're not you're that not, point. You didn't sustain more than your I mean a disruptor pistol sounds pretty nasty just on name it alone. Is. It is very nasty. These are these guys aren't they're really... illegal usually. Yeah. For a good reason. <laughs> Bosmo, no. <laughs> and Bosmo. You got fucked up real bad. <laughs> Just like a real Jedi. <laughs> so unfortunately, oh, yes, that that Close. does rip they into to the floor. We're like, no. <laughs> He's not actually disappeared. His clothes just fell off because he got shot. <laughs> <laughs> we all recoil in horror. His disruptor just disintegrated the clasp that holds his onesie together. <laughs> Thump. All right, PC slot. <laughs> McGruff sees that and does this. <laughs> Bosma does a backflip in midair and then I didn't, face I didn't plants think on Bosma the ground. Was, uh, was dead. He's not dead. He's not. Yeah. He is wounded. Uh, was, uh, is there an unconscious running. icon? You're not unconscious. You're not. You, you've got to go past your threshold to be knocked out. So you're right. at the cusp. I use my maneuver to move down here in your rail cage. And why That's it not unlocking you? thing. What? You were gonna detach the who's a what's it? Yeah, it's all the way over here, so I have to move that way. But how far? Like, how far are we allowed to move? So I'm using a maneuver to move that way. Why are you fucking like giving me shit? I don't understand. I don't know. I don't understand the movement rules either. <laughs> like, uh, I'm like, I'm moving towards the thing. You're like, yeah, that's not the thing. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not going to make it take four turns for you to get over there. Um, yeah, you, Cinematic you can pretty much get right over there, okay? Okay. Get all out. You're like, you're like half dog. You run real good. <laughs> I'm just confused. <laughs> <laughs> I was confused, too, because you're like, I'm moving over the rail. I'm like, well, that's not where you need to be. He's going to just throw a rail at them. We're all just going to die. Oh, my God. It's <laughs> going to do so much damage. All right. So McGruff is going to amble over there. He's going to pug run his way. <laughs> he just casually walks over that one. <laughs> he's all hoity-toity about it. He's got his, his pug head raised high. Um, now, the... The console itself. I'm. I'm. I'm not going to be in. I'm not going to make that take your whole turn to get over here. So, if you want to do some action stuff, you certainly can. The, uh, the console was pretty badly hurt when uh, when that missile exploded. The poor guy that was standing there. So, do I need to fix it and then undo the thing? Uh, really up to you. You might not need to fix it. If you're that good with computers, you could probably just bypass the, uh, the controls altogether and do what you need to Wait, do. Quick question, Smug. Is, okay. the con is the console caked with Gamorrean gore? Uh, without a doubt. It is Tarantino okay. levels. Ah, delicious. Ah, McGruff starts licking it up. <laughs> it's like somebody oh. just emptied a big can of thick, extra thick ravioli sauce all over the controls. <laughs> then he throws off and eats the cube. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, all computers against this. What's uh, what's the difficulty you'd like? Um, considering how it is. Oh, Jack's, Jack's making sounds. Um, we'll make it a hard difficulty. It should be three purples, okay. but if you want to upgrade your role by using a destiny point, you certainly could. Uh, nah, yes. Yes. Yes, this use them. This seems important. Use them. This seems important, so upgrade one. I think I'm I think I'm doing this right. 
Okay. I think you can just put one in for the upgrade or something like that. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm gonna do. And it's versus three purple. And roll. Nice. Not nice as you got thread, but you got triumph. Yeah, I got triumph, and you do indeed. Right, but in the end, he succeeds. Yeah. That's the yeah. important thing. Yes, that is the important thing. So it's not it's not easy by well, any stretch. I am so distracted by all this delicious sauce, you guys. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Macross uh, kind of dark. Uh, 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 <laughs> this is a really dark for Star Wars. That guy should have just <laughs> fallen over, not exploded. He just has blast marks all over his body. Exactly. He's okay. He'll just brush it up anyway. So McGruff just buries his furry hands in there. He's just yanking at wires, pulling at circuit boards. He knows what he's doing, clearly. But there's a tremendous amount of damage that's been done to the console. And correct me if I'm wrong here, Steve, but can I use that threat to uh, to induce some strain on our good friend you McGruff? So for each Too of strain, those. In fact. Yep, two strain will be suffered in the attempt. But what about his triumph? Yes, that's what I'm about to get to. Fill up the gas, maybe? <laughs> Dang. Sweet. So as he as he is doing this, and I'll, I'll put the strain in a second, um, McGruff also notices that this console here, and particularly the way that he's rerouting it, is also tied to the base security inside of the hangar bay itself. Mm. And it's it. Uh, I'm just thinking, do I need to do another check for that, or can I just give it to you? Ooh, decisions. I, I hear you, cat, smug, smug. Yeah, cat he's, cute he's in my lap and now, he, and, and he's purring uh, like crazy. He's, I he's, uh, I want to. I want to touch cat. Hey now, very forward. Dinner. Steve, <laughs> sidebar. Hmm? Dude, how far can I go with the triumph? Do you think? It says significant. It's pretty easy. It's really hard to get a triumph. It is. And I got one. All right, we're 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 gonna do it. So. First things first, the coupling that is attached to the ship drops off at the other end, which is really handy. I mean, I, I definitely would have gone to the other end, but I'm not a player here. Um, <laughs> well, the box, and, is, the box is the computer, right? <laughs> and then in the same swift stroke, he also overrides the security system and a turret drops down from around the ring at McGruff's disposal once he figures out how to control it, a.k.a. next round. Nice. Yeah, that sounds right. And then I'll make it this one over here, because I actually have two. You know what? I'm going to give you both of them. What? You deployed turrets. Exactly so. So they drop down. They're powering up, but they're not quite ready yet. But McGruff has done a pretty damn good thing. You're a damn good man, McGruff. Thank you. Damn good. Thank you. That's all, all I right. ever wanted to hear. <laughs> I think that'll be the, the end of McGruff's turn. Who's a good boy? <laughs> oh. That's right. It's another PC's turn. He wants to rush over there and rub his head. <laughs> uh, I'll rub his head on the ship. 